Hello, uh, this video is just a quick overview of our uh, new Rayfire cache for my beta plugin. And uh, I will need your help to find all the bugs and fix them. So for now, I just want to show you how it works. So this is this Max scene. Uh, right now, if I will save as it, you can see uh, its size right now is 360 megabytes. Now I will cache all the geometry. Uh, so actually this is animation just falling down and uh, there are 3295 objects and animation uh, there are 300 frames of animation and now let's cache all the geometry and animation hit record and uh, let's call it max so it may take for a few seconds okay now I will select it and drag to other positions so this is uh, the same basically the same copy of all the same objects so I can select all the objects now delete them now we have only one object in scene and it uh, contains all the geometry information and animation. Now let's see, save the scene. Scene max and hide the cache. And uh, now uh, this fi scene file size is 276 kilobytes. And if I will take a look at the cache cache uh, scene load uh, okay here it is so it's only 200 megabytes and so now we can incrementally save the scene with this cache geometry and it will uh, its size always will be 200 kilobytes instead of 300 megabytes uh, now let's jump into Maya okay so this is Maya and uh, here in this uh, last tab you can find Refire cache helper so when you click on it, it opens this new tab. Here you can click on new and create helper inside scene. Now while it's selected, you can go to load and uh, load this cache file. Again, it may take for a few seconds to load all the geometry and animation. Okay, it's done. Now let's set here to 300 frames. And this is our new uh, geometry. You can see it's uh, there is the same geometry and the same animation. To make it uh, playback it faster, let's go to viewport and set here bounding boxes. Okay, so the same animation, the same uh, objects, and uh, now let's get back to Max. Also, I forgot to mention that I'm using uh, this five uh, materials, using this multi subject material, and every object here uh, has uh, material, different material IDs on its faces. So this is how I applied one material to all the geometry, and if you will go to Maya, there is a little helper let's get back to the object make it let's take a look closer so the last uh, a lot you can see this material so let's select some object and here you can see the list of all material ids uh, it has so you can select all these faces uh, selecting them here so you can see that when I select here material ID1, it selects all these faces. If I will select material ID2 here, it will select all the faces here. And also it uh, creates uh, some basic uh, default material. So if you will select the object, you can go to this attribute editor and find all the materials here. So uh, it's not ex exactly what it was look like in Max, 
we will work on it and we will add some way to uh, store material information as well later but for now just better so you can uh, for now just creates this default simple material so it's different colors so you can select basically all this material I did here just use randomized colors and get random colors on different material IDs so later you can uh, apply materials you want here so change colors or apply texture at least you now uh, can start to adjust material so it will looks like in 3ds max and of course you can use all this uh, explode to objects all the fragments and uh, using this playback properties adjust playback speed or start frame or other uh, properties so let's actually I will just uh, explode the objects for from frame 1 to frame 50 and uh, explode okay now all geometries were exploded and their animation will bake it with the keys so I can select this cache file and delete it so here are my objects now I can select every one of it also since I had this reduce keys uh, property enabled you can see the keys uh, only where they need it not at every frame but only where it needs to be and uh, just to show you how it works I can delete this object as well and uh, it, create new cache add all the objects here then hit record uh, verify cache minor okay I recorded all the information now now I can get back to 3ds max select this one, hit load and load it back the same object the same animation and again you can go back to my like delete half of the subject add another half and record again into the same file if you will go to max you'll see it updated it right away Okay, so if anyone want to apply for a beta test, you can contact with me and I will send you builds for now which supports only uh, Windows version and uh, starting from Maya 2013 and to Maya 2016. So thank you for watching and goodbye.